This is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game is a matchup of the first running backs taken in the last two NFL drafts. It's Todd Gurley going up against Ezekiel Elliott. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, the Cowboys introduced to this gigantic crowd, and as usual, it was old number 88, Des Bryant, that got the folks going the loudest. His guys are set to go head-to-head -head with the Los Angeles Rams. And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth, and Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. The children will grow. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. <laughs> And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Last year's number one overall pick, here he comes. He'll be leading him and looking for an improvement in year two, Jared Goff. Didn't play in a traditional pro-style offense in college. In fact, at Cal, he played in what they call the Bear Raid. Threw it around a whole bunch. 96 touchdown passes in three seasons. This guy took the ball from game one as a true freshman and never missed a start. So he has a great amount of toughness as well as the ability to throw the big-time ball downfield. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Last year, Gurley, 74% of LA's carries. That's the highest percentage in the league. But no real payoff because they finished 31st in the league in rushing. I think as a team, they ran for 78 yards per game. They had a 1,000-yard receiver and Kenny Britt out wide but they really didn't scare people downfield. And because of that, they stacked the line of scrimmage and stuffed the run game. On second down, here's Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A huge play that time for the Rams. 43 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. 
Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. And before they can get settled in here, time expires on the first quarter of action. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going, but they face a second and long to start things out. and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is taken at the three. <laughs> and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, the 135th pick in the draft back in 2016 from Mississippi State. For a fourth-round selection, Dak Prescott looked as comfortable as a rookie quarterback can look right from game one. And by the end of the year, accumulate a lot of statistics. But the biggest one, 13 wins, which tied him with Ben Roethlisberger for the most as a rookie starting quarterback. First 
first down, Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike, he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Prescott now on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And again, it's Prescott. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Jason Whitney intended target, and that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On second down, Prescott again. Pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Michael Brockers busting through to get him for a loss of six. Third and long for Prescott. Bryant with a catch right side. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit at the 44-yard line. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Now the seventh year man, Chris Jones, on to kick. Deep for the Rams, Tavon Austin. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both the Cowboys and the Rams have very low rushing totals. It has not been an effective part of either team's game plan, and you wonder if either side will give a more concerted effort to run it in the second half. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Midway through the first quarter. Higby's wide open here on the catch. Same drive. Crawford's going to take down the QB here. This will go for a loss of seven. Rams now later on the drive. The former Nittany, Sean Lee, getting to the QB for the sack. This one ends up as a loss of six. Sports Studios. Let's get back out to Brandon and Charles for the call of the second half. Brandon.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he is knocked down from the side, right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. On second down, Elliott. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now Austin, and he spins through. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, we got, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves his sticks. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks, too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Fresh set of downs here. Gurley again here on first down. And he'll be knocked down sideways right at the line of scrimmage. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here.
Goff now to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And on the left side, he's got Witten. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They, they're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Starts the drive with Gurley. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So here we go, first and ten now. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Good. 
Here's Gurley. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Goff now to throw. They got him in. It's Woods. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. Harden, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. should put a conclusion to this one. Well, the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them? Going along with those zeros in the time column, too. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we...